G'day, Eagles fans. Welcome to another episode of Eagles in Isolation, proudly presented by AGL. They are, of course, the energy within the Eagles. Not every day that you've got a two-time Premiership star on the line. The guests just keep on rolling in hard. Elite company. Lewis Jetta, welcome to the program. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. You know, 4% of AFL listed players make it to the double ton, Lewis. So you're in very special company. You know, unfortunately, no close friends or family to really share in that moment with you. How are you going to embrace that milestone? Um, probably just go look for some pork ribs. Um, probably next best, next best thing, I reckon, with some extra gravy and some chips on it. Hey, you got your priorities in check, mate. I got no problem with that. What about yeah, sharing? Dude. What about with sharing it with uh, with Jack Darling? You know, would you rather it all to yourself? Be a little bit greedy, or are you happy to give him some of the celebration too? No, I'm I'm happy to do whatever. Um, yeah, it's actually really really good that he's doing it, playing his game. Um, I wasn't going to pretend I was sore and do it myself next week against <laughs> Richmond. <laughs> but uh, I figured the boys need me, so um, no, no, it's going to be a good good uh good time to play. Especially Port Adelaide, one forty-five around midday, so it's gonna be exciting times. Now you're a, you're a massive kid at heart, Jets, and you're also known for your, your unity and bringing the morale of the the team together. So I don't think you're doing too much golfing and surfing. That's my guess. So what are these other activities you're really getting the boys to gel and bond with while you're stuck up there in the hub? Um, just doing little pranks, pretty much. Still, um, boys yeah. haven't caught on to what I've been doing with the mayonnaise and hand cream. Um, still don't know what they, <laughs> if they could taste a difference. Um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a bit of that, um, you know, chocolate and barbecue sauce mixed up with those. Um, but yeah, I don't think boys have noticed it yet. That's good. You always fly under the radar, mate. I like that. Now I've got some fan questions here for you. If you're ready to rock and roll. The yep. first is from Julian. So out of all the hairstyles, you knew you were going to get a hairstyle question. Which one is your favourite and which one was most loved by your teammate? Um, well, I think the bald head one was what a half a head shaved up top, short back and sides, keep and shave the top was a big one to go to. But um, I think this, this week I'm going to stick with the Craig David look uh, with the beard and see if we're going to get a zero faded up into the top. I'm trying to think of, of hairstyles you haven't done. It's probably just the Nick Nat Dreddies and that's it. Yeah, just the dreadies. I did have plaits when I was little uh, with the lackey bands hanging out, but um, that was probably the closest thing I got to dreads. Now, the next one's from Ronald Spencer. It's how's Tim Kelly fitting into the team? Uh, you know, apart from those very questionable TikTok dancing videos that's going on up there in the hub, I'm <laughs> unsure about them, mate. But I mean, especially with the close bond formed with the Indigenous Eagles, how's he kind of fit into that, uh, that scene? Yeah, well, first of all, he needs to learn how to dance. Um, and we can maybe, you know, get a... Uh, Little camo involved with that one, or Liam. Uh, I think my dancing days are over. Getting too old for that stuff now, so I'll hand, pa- I'll hand pass it off to the young kids. They can they can learn how to d- teach him how to dance. But he's uh, been gelling well. He's been uh, his hands are full with his um, his three babies. Um, and whenever he gets a chance, he comes down and hang out. So um, yeah, I think he's just doing his best at the moment. Judy Roberts wants to know if you weren't playing uh, AFL footy, what other sport might you have taken up, and would you be any good of it? Honest appraisal here, Jet. Um, I would be a gardener, uh, planting flowers and stuff. That is not a sport, Jets. I know you want it to be. It's never making it to the Olympics. <laughs> I, we could, we, no, I had sports, yeah. If it wasn't for footy, um, maybe I can count, <laughs> turn it into something, <laughs> counting flowers. <laughs> no, if it wasn't for that, it would be a uh, t-ball, I reckon. T-ball. Great sport. Hey, is Little Junior playing some t-ball yet? Yeah, I d- went down to the... Baseball, T-ball store on Orang Road back in Perth. Um, Fielder's choice, yep. And, and yeah, we just uh, grabbed a couple of little T-ball sets. Um, yeah. Great sport, should be good. Gavin Wright wants to know, when pinpointing those rocket passes, are you as cool on the inside as you are on the outside? Um, well, I don't really get nervous, so. Ever? Just, yeah. Ever? No nerves? Ever. No nerves, no nerves. So grand finals, no. you, play, you played in a few, no nerves in grand finals? No, no. If I make a mistake, it's because uh, usually my ball drop or the way I drop it to my foot is off a little bit, but um, no nerves involved. And when I do see a target, um, I just hit it. It's just footy and it's just kicking. It's fun. I think I know why that's the case. And Melanie could have hit the, the nail on the head here. Maybe what you're drinking, mate. What's your favorite tea to drink at the moment? Maybe that's just calming all the nerves. Yeah, I haven't been drinking tea. That's... Um, Maybe lemon ginger. I had one last week. Maybe I need to get back onto English breakfast again. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair shout. What about this one from Dean? So, Jets, 
We know you got the deadly moves on the dance floor. Who's the worst or Winyan dancer at the club? Winyan, I'd definitely nick that. Um, he, he thinks he can dance, but he's he's horrible. He's got no rhythm or nothing. I reckon the best dancer at the club would have to be Archie. He's a he's a little grey on the he's a roughy. Um, and I've seen the way he move with no music. He's actually yeah quite quite a smooth mover to be honest. Well, I wouldn't have picked that. That's good insight from you, Jets. Now, before you take <laughs> off, I want to hear, uh, you know, if you've got any messages out there for the fans that probably have supported you for a fair chunk of those 200 games and looking forward to seeing some Saturday afternoon footy against the Power this weekend. Any, any messages for them? Yeah, just keep cheering because every time you guys cheer, it brings a smile to my face and hopefully I can return the favour by being uh, a cool cat and a funny character on field while playing some serious footy and bringing a smile to you guys' faces. Awesome work, Jets. You've been an ornament of the footy club and all the best for this weekend. That's been Eagles in Isolation, brought to you by AGL, the energy within the Eagles. Jets, go Craig David. Play well. Cheers, guys. Thank you.